Archaeologists were able to spot an elaborate and intricate leather saddle from a grave situated in northwestern China. This unique finding may possibly be the oldest leather saddle that has ever been found. The elaborate leather saddle is dated from between roughly 700 BC and 400 BC and may be the earliest ever found. The saddle, preserved for up to 2,700 years in the arid desert, was discovered in the tomb of a woman at a cemetery in Yanghai, in the Turpan Basin of China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The woman was dressed in a hide coat, woolen pants, and short leather boots, and had a leather saddle placed on her buttocks as if she was seated on it, according to the study, published Tuesday, May 23, in the journal Archaeological Research in Asia. The saddle, two cowhide cushions filled with a mixture of straw and deer and camel hair, was made between 724 and 396 BC, according to radiocarbon dating. It may predate saddles known from the Scythians, nomadic, warlike horse riders from the western and central Eurasian steppe who interacted with the ancient Greeks and Romans. The earliest Scythian saddles seem to date from between the 5th and the 3rd centuries BC and have been found in the Altai Mountains region of Russian Siberia and in eastern Kazakhstan. This places the Young High Saddle at the beginning of the history of saddlemaking, study lead author Patrick Wertman, an archaeologist at the University of Zurich, told Life Science. The tombs at Yanghai are thought to be from people of the Subaxi culture, who occupied the Turpan Basin from about 3,000 years ago. The culture is named after another graveyard of tombs near the modern town of Subaxi, about 30 miles, 50 kilometers, northeast of Yanghai. Archaeologists now think horses were domesticated as herd animals up to 6,000 years ago. But the earliest evidence suggests they were kept for their milk and meat, horse riding may not have started until up to 1,000 years later. The first riders used mats secured to the backs of horses with straps, carvings show Assyrian cavalrymen with such horse gear in the 7th century BC. Archaeologists don't know exactly when true saddles were invented, but they likely were developed by horse riders in Central Asia about the mid-first millennium BC, which would make the Young High Saddle among the oldest, Wortman said. The development of saddles began when riders began to care more about comfort and safety, and also the health of the horses, he told Life Science in an email. Saddles helped people to ride longer distances, hence leading to more interaction between different peoples. The early Scythian saddles and the Young High Saddle both have distinct supports, which help riders maintain a firm position and raise themselves in the saddle, such as when shooting an arrow. The first saddles also had no stirrups, Wortman said. The Subaxi had similar weaponry, horse gear and garments to the Scythians and may have had contact with them in the Altai Mountains region, the study authors wrote. But while the Scythians were nomads, the Subaxi horse riders were likely pastoralists who looked after herds of animals within the Turpan Basin. University of Zurich biomolecular archaeologist Shivan Wilkin, who was not involved in the study, told Life Science that the extraordinary level of preservation of the Young High Saddle suggests other, potentially older saddles, may be found nearby. Usually for something organic that's this old, like leather, then we wouldn't have any remnants of it, or very little, she said. The seated position of the buried woman on the saddle suggests she was a rider. This really shifts our ideas about who was riding horses, Wilkins said. Birgit Bueller, an archaeologist at the University of Vienna, who also wasn't involved with the study, told Life Science in an email that the discovery in an ordinary tomb is strong evidence for women participating in the day-to-day -day activities of mounted pastoralists, which included herding and traveling. The find contradicts traditionalist historical narratives associating horse riding with warfare by elite men.